Hi everyone. So after I asked about who wants to collaborate with me, many many people messaged me privately and also on Facebook, and they they want to be part of it. And quite a lot of them also have no idea how to do it. Well, I'm gonna try and do a simple demonstration using my logic, and hopefully it makes sense. And then let's see how we go. Yeah, I use logic because it's something I'm used to. It's not so expensive. You can download it for free right now and use it up to ninety days. So, oh, but it only works on Mac. Yeah, Mac is the way to go. So today I look different. I just woke up a bit blur blur, and uh, the video, my cam is. I'm using just the webcam, so I look different. Everything here looks different also. Anyway, so I have logic set up here. Um, first of all, if you have a MIDI keyboard, MIDI, M I D I. You can set it up with Logic, and then when you open a software instrument and you press your keys, you can also change sound. the The keyboard itself has no sound. The sound comes from Logic. Okay, so I'm gonna search for a piano sound, maybe a Steinway Grand Piano. Yeah, I'm not a a keyboard player lah. I don't know anything. Anyhow, press one. So for those who are wanting to learn how to collaborate, I wanna teach you a few things. First of all, you need to decide the tempo of the song. So let's say we are doing a song called Hey Jude. Okay, so down here you can change the tempo. I think it's about seventy seven, and it's in four four. Okay, four four, and when I press record, the click track will start. You you need to also decide on how many bars, intro, verse, chorus, or you just want to follow exactly like the song. Uh, do decide on which version or so. Yeah, so let's let's try recording. Hey Jude, go to the top. Three four. One two three, hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Okay, so you could hear I made a lot, a lot of mistakes. Well, it's okay. Ah,、uh, we can always repair it. Okay, so let me. I did not record my vocals. That was just the piano. The vocals, what you're hearing, is from my mic into the video recording. So if we play back, okay, I really fumbled up. So what I recorded are this actually this MIDI notes. You can see. Okay, so this one is a mistake. Okay, I think this first chord was correct. Okay, so, ah,、uh, the other thing is my timing was, my timing was a bit off. So I'm going to, um. Quantize it to the nearest eighth note. Yeah, there you go. There's one note here wrong. I'm gonna delete it. Okay, let's listen to it. Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Yep, sounds correct. This note is a bit soft. I'm gonna make it louder. Velocity too. Here also a bit soft, a bit soft here, a bit soft here. 
Okay. So, there you go. You have some chords already. And then, let's say I want to record drums. Okay. You can open a new software instrument. Create. And then, search for drums. Okay. Drum kit. Um, let's go for a bluebird and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna record. Oops, sorry. Two, three. Hey. Okay, so I recorded that, and as you can tell, I my 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 timing is not perfect. So I'm gonna pull everything and put it to the nearest sixteenth note. Okay, I can see there's a mistake here. I'm gonna delete this. Okay. Okay, let's say I want to crash, I can just change this up. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And now let's say, let's pretend that this whole Thing is the song okay if you you need to pull this yellow thing until the end of the song okay end of the song so in this case I'm gonna do this pull it here and then if you want to uh, send your tracks to your friends so that we can collaborate you need to send this out both tracks individually one piano and one drum. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, if you are doing MIDI, yeah, very important. You need to pull this to the front. Okay, and you need also to add a note in front. Okay, you can add a note by changing this to a pencil too, and then. Okay, and the drum also, pencil too. Okay, so doing that that uh, note in front will ensure that uh, when you bounce out the track, it will start from here. Okay, you have to start at the same place all the time for the collaboration to be successful so that people can easily sync. Always start at the same spot. Okay, so uh, why, why not I record vocals? Okay, so if you want to record vocals, we do this. Audio, create. Okay, so, so now you can, can hear double, double voice. voice. So, so I'm going to record, record my vocals, put, put it, it to record, record and here, here we go. go. It's, it's good, good to record vocals with uh, headphones and then off the, the sound, sound from your speakers, speakers because you don't want to... Uh, the, the speaker, speaker sound, sound to come, come into, into your mic. mic. Okay, okay, let's, let's try, try recording. recording yeah. Yeah. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Okay, hey, I've, I've recorded. recorded. Let's, let's listen, listen back. back. Take, take this out, take this out. Hey Jude, don't make it bad Take a sad song and make it better Okay, and so now if you want to uh, bounce out all this Okay, I think this part you cannot see Go to File uh, And then go to Export 
and then go to all tracks as audio files. Okay. Again, I say go to file, go to export, go to all tracks as audio files. Okay. And I press that. And we got to decide where to put it first. So I want to put it in desktop. Create a new folder. Call this Hey Jude Tracks. Create. Okay, I want it to be wave 24 bit and the pattern of the uh, song, the, the wording for the, the titles, uh, or what, what do you call it? Yeah, lah, the titles of the track. I just put it under track name. Okay. Uh, okay, export. Actually, you should have the track name uh, properly written already. Uh, let, let's go back. Okay, so we call this piano. This one, drums. And this one, vocals. Okay, so that's done. And we go back again. So where's my phone? Jerry Chua. A no, desktop. And I think just now I had Hey Jude. Let's look there. Hey Jude. And track name. This is the track name. Eh? Export. Eh, hey, why is it taking so long? Did I make a mistake? Okay. So now if I go to my desktop, which you can't really see. There you go. There's, those are my... So let's click on drums and see how it sounds like. Okay, it's working. Piano. Okay. It's all very good. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Yep. So that's how you export. And then um, if your friends get it in their email or WhatsApp or whatever, all they have to do is take the tracks, pull it in. Okay, and they'll ask you all this. You just say create new tracks. Okay, so if I off this, so imagine that now your friend got the tracks. This is what you have. Hey, you. Jude, don't make it bad. So that's how you collaborate. Very easy, right? Okay, so then the next part, people ask me how to mix. Well, if you come up here, press this button. I want to make it bigger. So these three are muted. So we're going to work on this. So this is how loud it is. And then you can put EQ. Okay, let's listen to the drums itself. Okay, let's say you want to make it clearer on the EQ, add a bit of highs. Let's listen to it and EQ. Maybe a bit of low. Sounds good. And piano. Maybe add a bit of highs or so. Okay, let's go to the vocals. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Okay, drums and piano both too loud, so I'm gonna pull down. I'm sure I'm hearing the vocals and I think it's not clear, so I'm putting in more high. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. 
okay, I think I want to put a compressor because I think it needs to sound a little bit more uh, ba balanced as in the volume will be not loud, not soft. Just a touch to see. I, I like to use the red color for this. Hey Jude, this is the compression. Take a sad song and make it better. Um, if you want to put reverb, you come here, go to say bus, whatever bus that's available, find a reverb. Mm, it's under reverb below. Let's use a logic reverb. Let's use chroma verb. Use mono to stereo. Okay, I think I want to change it to uh mm. okay, let's just try room and but I want a longer reverb. Hey June, don't make it bad. You need to bring this up huh, and decide how much reverb you want. Hey June, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. I think it's a bit too much. I'm gonna cut it a bit and maybe the reverb not so long or so. Hey June, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. So so let's imagine that this song is done and you want to uh uh bounce the song out, the whole song. Okay, remember you need the yellow thing, you start you, your yellow thing can decide to start from where you want to start the song. Okay, let's see. Maybe I start it here. Hey June, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Okay, make sure there's enough space here for the sustain. Yeah, I think that does it. So one thing you want to do is bring the volume of the whole song up to enough that it's loud enough, okay? So come to this stereo. Your volume should be at zero. Put in an adaptive limiter. Under Adaptive limiter is under dynamics, okay? Hey, June. Don't make it bad Take a sad song and make it better Yeah, so so you bring this up until how loud you want to go If you go too loud, it might get a bit saturated But um, you listen lah. Try not to go exit this part here Don't exit 5 or 6 dB, the reduction Remember to put out ceiling to minus 0 0.1. Okay, so let's so okay, so let's bounce it out. Go to file, come down to bounce, and then go to project or section. And then you decide what you want. Okay, I'm using MP3 320 K, KBPS. Okay, and then I want to put it on desktop and the name of the song is Hey Jude Demo. Okay, and I press bounce. Do, 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 do. It's done. Now it's on my desktop. And if I go to desktop, I press it. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Yep, so that's all. Uh, I hope it's been useful for you. Let me know if you need any more help. Uh, yeah, God bless. Take care.